Hey everyone, my name is Fiza and I'm a communication student at Sunway University. Today I will be giving you an introduction to geography. Before we get started, I hope everyone's having a great day and I hope you all are ready to learn. You might be curious, what are the topics we're going to be covering in today's lesson? Well, a few of our objectives are to learn about the capital cities around the world, the seven wonders of the world, as well as a few major landmarks around the world. Before we start with our lesson, let's run through the basics. As you may have seen in the previous video, there are seven continents in the entire world. That is, North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, and Antarctica. Let's begin. The first capital city we'll be learning about is Washington, D.C that is located in the United States of America and is in the North American continent, as you can see here right on this map. A fun fact about Washington, D.C. is actually that is where the White House is located. The White House is where the president of the USA lives. Next, we have Buenos Aires that is located in Argentina in the South American continent. Argentina is known for its beautiful culture, and great music and delicious food. Next up, we have the capital city of London that is located in the United Kingdom in the European continent. It's marked by this little pink star on this map. A fun fact about London is actually where the Buckingham Palace is located, and that is where the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth, resides. Next up, we have Cape Town located in South Africa and the African continent marked right at the bottom of this map. Next, we have Abu Dhabi, located in the United Arab Emirates, also known as the UAE, located in the Asian continent. It's right here on this map, and is surrounded by many beautiful Middle Eastern countries, such as Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Iran, Bahrain, Qatar. Abu Dhabi is known for its beautiful Arab culture, delicious food, and some interesting music. Next up, we have Seoul, located in South Korea, in the Asian continent, marked right here on this map. Next, we have Nairobi, located in Kenya, in the African continent. It's marked right here by this little star on this map. Around Kenya, on the coastal side, there are many little islands that are extremely beautiful with great marine life and are great tourist destinations. Next, we have Brussels located in Belgium in the European continent. It's marked right here by the little star on this map. Lastly, we have the capital city of Sydney located in Australia and is in the continent of Australia or Oceania. Now, let's learn about the seven wonders of the world. I sure hope you guys get to visit some of these places someday. The first wonder of the world is the Great Wall of China, located in Beijing, Asia. It was built almost 3,000 years ago and was built to protect the Chinese Empire from invasion. As you can see in this picture, it is truly a sight to see. Next up, we have the second wonder of the world, Petra. Petra is known for its beautiful, beautiful architecture and is also known as the Rose City because of its pinkish hue. It is also located in the Asian continent. Located in Agra, India, in an Asian continent, we had Taj Mahal as the third wonder of the world. It was built in 1632 by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan as a gift to his late wife. It was made using thousands of precious stones like rubies and emeralds. Look at this picture, it's so beautiful. Can you believe it's built in 1632? The fourth wonder of the world is the Roman Colosseum that's located in Rome, Italy, in the European continent. It was built almost 2,000 years ago and was built by the Emperor of Rome at the time. It is the largest amphitheater in the world and was used for contests to put up dramatic plays and for some public events. The fifth wonder of the world is Machu Picchu. Yeah, I know, it might be a bit difficult to pronounce this one. It's located in Peru in South America. 
and it was built in the 1400s. This is a wonderful, large, mountainous area that was discovered by the world much later after it was built. The sixth wonder is the Christ Redeemer statue located in Rio, Brazil, in the South American continent. It was built between the years 1922 and 1931. It was built by many engineers and several, several sculptors. It weighs 635 metric tons and is built at the top of Corcovado Mountain. Look at the statue, it's beautiful. Next up, we have the seventh wonder, the last but not the least, Chichen Itza, located in Mexico in the North American continent. It was built in the year 1632, that was almost 1,300 years ago. It was built by the Mayan people and is one of the most visited sites in Mexico. The Mayan people are also known for inventing their own calendar, known as the Mayan calendar. The Chichen Itza was also considered one of the biggest trading hubs in Mexico due to its central location. Now, let's learn about some major landmarks around the world. They may come in use when you visit them. First off, we have the Burj Khalifa, located in the city of Dubai in the UAE. The Burj Khalifa, translated to English, is the Tower of Khalifa. Sheikh Khalifa is the president of the United Arab Emirates, which is where this tower is located and whom it is dedicated to. The Big Ben is located in the city of London in the UK. And lastly, we have the Empire State Building located in the USA. Next, we have the Sydney Opera House located in the city of Sydney in Australia. It is truly beautiful. And we have the Eiffel Tower located in Paris in France. Lastly, we have the pyramids located in Egypt. Aren't these such beautiful landmarks? Now, let's do some fun quizzes. This is the first quiz. Feel free to pause the video so you can take time to answer the questions. But let me read through them for you. So the first question is, where is the Taj Mahal located? Go ahead, you can pause your video, I'll wait for you. Next, we have the second question. What is the capital of Belgium? Take your time. The third question is, you can name any two major landmarks and the cities they are located in. Okay, I hope you're done. Let's revise the answers to see if you got them right. The first answer is the Taj Mahal is located in Agra in India. The second answer is, the capital of Belgium is Brussels. And the third answer is, you can pick any two major landmarks, but for this one, I picked the Eiffel Tower located in Paris and the Burj Khalifa located in Dubai. Don't worry, if you didn't get the answers right, you can always go back and revise the, the content. Let's try again. The second quiz. Let's start with the first question. How long ago was the Roman Colosseum built? The second question is, what is the capital of Kenya? And the third question is, where is the Empire State Building located? Take your time to answer these questions and we'll revise the answers in the next slide. The first answer is the Roman Colosseum was built almost 2000 years ago. The second answer is the capital of Kenya is Nairobi. And the third answer is the Empire State Building is lo located in the United States of America or the USA. I hope you got a few of these answers right, if not all of them. But if you got them wrong, don't worry. You can always go back in this video and revise the content we have learned together to ensure you remember all this important information. Let's do a brief summary of the lesson we've had today. First off, we learned about capital cities. For example, Seoul, Buenos Aires, Washington DC, London, Cape Town, Sydney, Brussels, Nairobi, and lastly, Abu Dhabi. Then we learned of, about the seven wonders of the world, like the Taj Mahal, Machu Picchu, Petra, the Christ Redeemer statue in Brazil, the Roman Colosseum, and the Pyramid at Chichen Itza in Mexico. And lastly, we learned some beautiful but major landmarks the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, 
the Big Ben in London, the Empire State Building in the USA, the Pyramids of Giza in Egypt, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and the Sydney Opera House located in Sydney. And that's all for our lesson today. Thank you so much for your time and your attention. I hope you all had fun learning about the interesting world we live in and all the places you may get a chance to visit. I hope this lesson encourages you to go out and learn and read more about the world we live in and all the beautiful sights we have yet to see. Hopefully this interesting information and a few fun facts you learned today help you in the future. I will be attaching a few additional resources you can use to revise the co content we have learned today. Hope you all have a great day and stay safe and take care. Bye.